So as you could tell, the video was pulled down a second time, or this is going to be the third revision now. And I am putting this video back up because uh, Lasso Group is, I, f I did some research, it's Lasso Group that's pulling down the video on behalf of Paramount to issue false DMCA claims and, and, and uh, completely reject any sort of disputes, whether it's a review, criticism, any of that, they don't care. Uh, and I know they don't care because these are manual reviews and they did it again. So, um, in addition, not only was our review transformative, but it was also critique. But then the second one was even more transformative. Um, I remixed the footage. I used even less of the footage, even though I didn't need to. I used even less. And now they want to continue to fight. I'm ready. Let's let's go. Let's go. I, I've been waiting for a case like this for a long time, many years on YouTube, uh, where a review is coming under, uh, you know, a false uh, DMC claims and trying to be uh, uh, suppressed and pulled down. And I'm ready, Lasso Group. If you want to do this, let's go. Okay. So now I've uh, did a third revision. In fact, I'm improving the video every time that you take it down. Uh, so now, not only is it transformative, it's even more transformative. I'm using even less of the footage, even though I don't need to. And, and, and I'm also, this is review and critique. Let me read this to you since you, you can't bother to train your own employees. Article 13, fair use. Article 13 says, in no way shall you affect legitimate uses. And people will be allowed to use bits of copyright protected material for the purposes of criticism, review, parody, or pastiche. That is 17 U.S. Code 107, limitations on exclusive rights, fair use, the purposes and character of the use, which you know what we're doing it for. We're reviewing it, including whether such as commercial nature or nonprofit educational purposes. Number two, the nature of the copyrighted work. We, it is a review, a critique. Number three, the amount and substantiality substantiability of the portion used in relation to the copyright as a whole. You made a two-hour movie and we used 10-second clips, you know, a couple times over and over, you know, that is transformative, that has been remixed, that has been changed, that has had commentary over it. As we are talking, both audio and visual commentary have completely transformed the small 10-second bits that we're using. And finally, fourth, the effect and use upon the potential market value for the value of the copyrighted work. Our, our, comp, our, you, our review cannot supplement or fully replace the experience of watching the film. In fact, we are doing free marketing by telling our audience, you if I had to watch it, you have to watch it. Go out and give Paramount some money and watch it yourself. It, it, just watching our review, you cannot get every single second, every single visual bit, every single idea of what the movie is like. You have to actually watch the movie, which we recommend that you go out and do, even though it is a terrible, crappy movie. And then finally, the fact uh, work is unpublished shall not itself bar from finding fair use if finding is made since consideration of all the above factors. So when you go into court, I need you to prove all the damages that we did to your video while I'll prove all of pro potentially the extra revenue that we get to your video. You're going to have to prove all of the damages that you lost. You're going to have to prove how our video was a complete substitute for your particular copyrighted work. I'm tired of this, guys. I'm tired of this, and I'm making a stand. That's it. Okay, lasso, let's go. Okay, so here is the third revision of the video. Okay, I'm angry. Yes, sir. I'm angry, Joe. I'm angry, a little angry right now. But you know what? It's because I'm tired of these bigger companies pushing around uh, creators and telling them what they can and can't do. Twitch is now out of control with that. YouTube has been out of control with that. And I want to make a stand, okay? I want to make a stand, and I, I, I just, if it's not set in stone, if it's not cut and dry and clear on fair use, then let's make it clear, all right? So let's do it. So here is our third revision of the jujitsu review <laughs> in which we tell you go out and buy it because it is a ton of fun and uh and i have to have this up uh guys let's just check it out here we go let's see them let's see if they pull it down a third time and then i do a fourth revision let's go let's go <laughs> hey
Hey guys, uh, so it's uh, 8.21 p.m. on Thanksgiving. Uh, got family over, got a sleepover, hanging out. But I just got a notification on my cell phone uh, last night that I didn't see till now that Paramount has decided to block our jujitsu review uh, via a manual review. I guess they didn't like what we had to say. They didn't like that we used maybe less than two, less than 10 seconds of footage for, you know, I don't know, 10 different times. Equaling less than the freaking trailer in total time, whatever, guys. Uh, but as not only is this our first episode of OJ forces us to watch bad movies, but also as a promotion for LG's new projectors that you can buy for Black Friday, I have to put this back up and I have to try to find a way to do it uh, you know, without, you know, Paramount trying to stop us and block us. So they blocked it worldwide. And uh, even though that's fair use and under a review, but whatever. Uh, so here is the version. We're putting it back up. Sorry, guys, that the original went down. I am going to dispute the original uh, while we have this second version up. But I need to have something posted uh, for Black Friday in support of uh, LG's new projector line and our new series with Other Joe in which he uh, forces us to watch really bad movies like Jiu-Jitsu, which, by the way, we were... Ultimately positive. Yes, we talked a lot of mess <laughs> about the film, but we also did have a good time with it. So um, suggest what, sh what should we watch next on uh, Joe's uh, bad movie reviews. And know that uh, we were filming uh, uh, Call of Duty and um, uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales just a day before. I got a little preview footage here for you guys just to show you we are working on stuff uh we just got a little overwhelmed with holidays and then family flew in and everything so uh, it's taken us a little bit longer but hopefully you guys can be patient uh so here is the uh modified review due to paramount being assholes uh with their stupid manual review which i am disputing so uh guys enjoy this and uh thank you so much for, uh, for bearing with us uh, the last one got like 115,000 views which is really, really good for a fuck for a movie review number one, and then number two, a B movie review, and the, number three, a video nobody asked for, like jujitsu. What? Never even heard of the thing. But uh, so I'm really happy with the positive reception, and uh, we're gonna do more of those in the future. Uh, you know, it's not gonna be super regular, but and, and just have fun as a bunch of friends talking about bad movies. So enjoy. Check it out, guys. Uh, thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. How's it going? OJ here. Wrong spot? Probably not. We've been working on a little episode. I made these guys finally watch one of my movies, mm -hmm. and I'm taking charge. Oh, my God. Why did you make me watch this? <laughs> Jiu-Jitsu with Nicolas Cage. You know what? Every single one of you out there are now forced to watch this movie. Blessed. Because OJ forced me and Alex to watch this. Every single one of you now must watch it. As we were, get a bunch of your mates together, put in a dollar each. It's only $7 on Amazon Prime. And watch this because we had to, okay? So you could go through the torment with us. But welcome. This is, I guess, going to be maybe a future new series. Yeah, let us know what you guys think we should title it. Oh, we, we don't know. Bad movies. Amazing movies. <laughs> OJ's uh, amazing movies. Amazing movies. Red Beer in a movie. <laughs> bad movies. God, I don't know. Bad movie uh, extravagant. I don't know. Leave it in the comments. Mm -hmm. But first, we want to thank our sponsors who helped make this possible. How dare you? <laughs> uh, watching all of OJ's bad movies in 4K. Check out our sponsors. Hey guys, I wanted to let you know about today's sponsor, which is LG Cinebeam Projectors. As you all know, we're not really going to be going to the theaters very often a here for a while. Yeah. And so we wanted to upgrade our projector system in our HQ workroom right here. And we went with the LG Cinebeam Projector. It is 4K. It has an, uh, that immense resolution. It's got the brightness. It goes up to 140. 
in the uh, inch display. Guys, I set it up. I tested it out myself. This thing literally looks like a television. It's so bright. And this is insane. First reaction, I wanted to turn on the camera just to show it. This, you wouldn't even know that this is a freaking projector screen. You know, it looks like a computer monitor. It is that clear. And this is a crappy little $200 projector screen that I got, this automatic. It's 125 inches. Uh, <laughs> this is insane. I don't think you can see the quality on my cell phone camera. Uh... So you got HDR 10 content, you've got Disney. So, you know, we've got the, we watched the Mandalorian on this. We were going to watch the upcoming Wanda, Wanda which is WandaVision, WandaVision yeah. is an announcement. We watched Poultry Guys, Thanksgiving. No, we're not going to watch none of that on that. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> no. In 4K, baby. <laughs> fine. <laughs> fine. Anyways, we're going to do some, some uh, movie nights with you guys. So we wanted to yeah. let you know what equipment we're using. We want to thank LG for partnering up with us on this. Uh, the Cinebeam projector click those links down below uh thank you for supporting us and uh, show them a little bit of love by checking out their system all right so this time we watched jujitsu uh as you are seeing here with nicholas cage uh and i hope you guys enjoy our review nicholas cage in 4k check it out so Nicolas Cage is still looking amazing in 4K, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I never thought I'd see every follicle on Nicolas Cage. His hair Cage's is amazing. Head. So luscious. <laughs> oh, yeah. We got to see every amazing detail of the movie in HD. It was incredible. Mm -hmm. um, Guys, as you know, we've worked with LG before yeah. Yeah. Uh, on the television when we set that up uh, you know, a year ago. And uh, it's another Black Friday coming up. It's another holiday season. So if you're looking to upgrade your setup like we have, definitely consider LG. They got the TVs. They got the projectors. The projectors in 4K and at a really good price right now. Click those links down below. Show them uh, some support because they showed our show some support to make this thing happen. Yes, I'm excited for future movies. Oh, my God. It's okay. going to be worth it. Oh, okay, so, right. Joe, okay. Tell, okay. Us, so, tell the people what you forced us to watch. As soon as we found out about Jiu-Jitsu coming out, it starts Nicolas Cage. Mm -hmm. All right, What's there's it about? An, there's an alien that passes by every uh, six years. Uh huh. The only way to defeat it is through Jiu-Jitsu. <laughs> and, and if you don't defeat him... He destroys the world. <laughs> he does one-on-one -on -one combat with over 4.7 billion people in the world. <laughs> yes. One-on-one -on -one until everybody is dead. And only one man can stop him. Nicholas Cage. Yep. What? Oh, wait. No, not really. Well, tell me... That does not sound amazing. Kind of sounds okay. a little like Mortal Kombat. <laughs> it does sound like... Uh, Funny you should mention that. They use the same graphics from uh, Mortal Kombat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, same. Annihilation, 1997. I, <laughs> I, I think that this movie is to Mortal Kombat Annihilation what Mortal Kombat Annihilation is to the original Mortal Kombat. Oh That's my the God. scale of quality. This <laughs> is like Mortal Kombat if it was total bleep blobation. But now you have those memories. Though. It's and, so good. And oh, you yeah. mix it with uh, the... Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, Predator. It's a little yeah, bit of Predator. Predator. Exactly. Predator a little deal. bit of Mortal Kombat in here. And uh, honestly, I am not going to lie. <laughs> I had a tiny bit of fun. I had some fun watching it. I you. had There's, some fun it watching it. It started off strong for me, too. It well. is bad. This is a bad movie. That is why I'm here. Right. Yeah. <laughs> on That's this why side. Joe is on this side. So that I literally cannot get at him yeah. and destroy his clothing. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, All right. The, there is a lot of stars in this movie that you will recognize. Mm -hmm. uh, Tony Ja. OJ yes. stunt double is yeah, in I, this movie. I freaking love Tony Ja. Nicholas Cage is in this movie. Yes. Uh, the the bad guy from the Frank Mar something. Frank um, something Grillo yeah. from uh, uh, Marvel Universe. The Marvel Universe. Skull and Bones or something like that. Yeah. Bones, in one of something the like Crossbones. Yeah, yeah. Like that. Uh, that other guy uh, uh, who is in the Fast and Furious movies yeah, and he's in a yeah. lot of like Jet Li movies. <laughs> yeah, like, there's a lot of people you're like I recognize that guy. Yeah. He's like me. That big burly Asian dude that like looks like he can kick everybody's ass. He can cut glass with his jawline. Oh man. 
a sharper. He's, he's freaking awesome. And yeah. honestly, I wish that guy was the main Me character. Too. Yeah. The main character was just so generic that yes. I honestly did not care about it. Yes. Yeah. So I don't know what to call. What's the right? Is white bread a word? What is so what? what like so vanilla, so plain. Yeah. yeah so just vanilla vanilla like, is a flavor. So how dare you speak of vanilla, <laughs> vanilla that okay, way? I love vanilla. Okay. I I actually like vanilla cupcakes, vanilla everything. It is one of my favorites. But what I'm saying is he's plain. Uh, plain. Yes. Plain bread. He is. Stoic, he is. They do this. He cannot act, and they do this <gasps> convenient <What>? thing. <laughs> are you are you kidding? In this movie? Oh, did I offend you, Jeff? How Excuse dare you? Me. He's one of the best actors of any movie that OJ's ever shown. So us. he cannot act. So how do they get around that? Well, they knock his ass out in yeah. the in the beginning yeah. of the film. They're like, he lying. has amnesia. Yeah. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's good. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> Joe, how does the film open? I just have to tell everybody. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, the film opens up. Uh, you see the main star. I forgot his name. <laughs> I don't, Jake, that's, nobody knows. Jake, that's right. They call him like a hundred times. How did you forget that, Joe? I swear <laughs> to God, if I hear somebody say Jake, Jake one Jake, more time, Jake, 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 Jake I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it. Everybody in the scene is like, Jake, 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 <laughs> Jake. And you forgot his name? I know. Is that how you watch I these films? Even Jake couldn't remember his own name because Sometimes he has amnesia. <laughs> okay, so the opening scene is Jake is running through the forest and then... No, like no, no, sci-fi, no. These sci-fi, like, throwing stars are coming all across <laughs> every which way direction. I don't know how. Microsoft Paint I don't is know how, how they got those those throwing stars <laughs> the in The worst stock uh, sound effects I've ever heard. <laughs> this movie's <laughs> on a budget. There was there was lasers, okay, but they but the, the alien never had lasers. He only had no. the, the Shuruk. And so who knows where these lasers came from. And that's not how it starts, Joe. It starts on a bad rotating Earth effect with an asteroid oh. or a comet. It's a no, comet. It's, it's actually an I asteroid. And then they later change it to a comet. <laughs> And I'm like, wow, this is the alien invasion. This dude literally it's running. It's not the invasion. It's just a tournament. Remember? Yeah. It's, it's a tournament for the alien. Dun, 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 no. dun, dun, DMC. DMC. Yeah. DMC. Yeah. 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 So, about yeah, that. he's running across the forest and whatnot. You see all these throwing stars coming in every which way direction. Terrible graphics, by the way. Sci-fi well, some of quality. them are actually hitting him. They look like they're hitting they him, are. but we they're not hitting them. They're just they like, are. wait a minute. He's been hit by these because <laughs> the person who's putting these graphics in is just like, eh, whatever. <laughs> so Some hit him and they fade the into his body yeah. because like they fade into the background but they hit him and we're like yeah. if those hit him he jumps off the cliff yeah he jumps like, off the cliff he like he jumped off and you see <laughs> you could clearly see two <laughs> penetrate his back mm-hmm. oh and then God. he jumps down hits a rock I think <laughs> we don't know his head wide open there's so much blood in the sea Later on, it cuts to night where you see a fisherman's boat. They're looking for him. Nicholas Cage. Nicholas Cage. I, I didn't even he was know. in the movie way more than I thought. So if you were expecting Nicholas Cage to only show up for 10 seconds like I was, he's all in this movie a lot. He has a lot of fight scenes. Like a I lot hate, of fight I, scenes. I, you know what, Joe? I would have obliterated you if, if Nick was not in this, if Tony Ja was not in this. And for a while there, I was like, where's Nicolas Cage? Yes, he shows up in a freaking, you know, uh, Bangkok. Uh, Raid uh, hat. Like, uh, where are they? Burma, Burmese yeah. uh, fisherman's hat. And you can't see him because he's got a, like, a flashlight. So I'm like, is that a Nick Cage body double? Like, <laughs> There's a lot of body doubling. They literally only had Nick Cage for two days. But boy, did they make use of that two days yeah. later on in the film. Yes. Right, so he rescues him from the the ocean or the the the, the, like the sea, and but then he disappears, and Nick Cage is not in the film anymore. I'm like, where is Nick Cage, <laughs> Joe? I'm about to leave. <laughs> if Nick Cage, you gotta give show, it a chance. So you, you got the, these old people man. show up. They they heal his wounds. They they speak a different language, and then of course the subtitles are like the John Wick subtitles, where there's one color, uh, you know, emphasized word in every sentence. You're you lazy, know. lazy's huge, <laughs> lazy. Yeah. You know, I'm like, oh my god. And then this, their scene transitions that turn they turn the movie into a comic book, and the problem is, I what think, was that? It's an actual Joe, comic what was book. This? It's an actual comic book. You're joking. No. It's based on a comic book? Yes. You freaking liar. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. All right, He's so lying. there's comic book transitions. The issue is <laughs> the story – spoilers. 
doesn't make any sense. And I don't mean doesn't make any sense. Like, I like Mortal Kombat and Annihilation. It's terrible. But the story makes sense because there's, like, a beginning and the middle and the end and the scenes kind of sort of make sense. Six years. But the, the, the thing and is, alien like... alien comes to beat us up. <laughs> yes. That doesn't from make... From a hole in the ground. That sounds amazing. From a hole in the wall, yeah. an alien comes to beat us up. And, but he does engage in honorable combat, except for the fact that he uses weapons, super speed, uh, healing. healing factor. He uses all the cheapest moves in the world. And he says, if you don't fight fair with him, he's going to murder everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this guy? He's cracked. like Sam when we go over to his yeah. house if you're like winning. It's like, no, I blocked it. <laughs> he turns in, he, when you're playing G.I. Joe's with Sam and you're like, do, 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 I got that guy. No, that guy didn't die. <laughs> I'm like, Sam, all day long we play G.I. Joe's and you won't lose. That's what this alien is like. It's amazing, though. <laughs> From scene to scene, though, the movie doesn't make sense. There will be times where Jake is captured and then he's not captured. And then he's captured again, and you're like, "Did we go That's back in time?" Oh, and it's right. like, and it's like, "Oh, maybe no. We're maybe going back in time. No, you're not going back in time. The scene, the movie's just not cut together properly. What? Where scenes are put so, in there out of order, so, and it doesn't make any sense." So yes, he's tied up in a chair <laughs> with zip ties. You remember? Joe? <laughs> yeah. Yes. What happens? Um, actually, they're trying to interrogate him. Well, who is interrogate him? Yeah. Oh. This this lady because who disappears. Who disappears? But she had like. What did you a say? Cosplay, it was like, it was costume a cosplay costume. Costume. It was like a pilot, <laughs> Air Force, <laughs> military, like, no, military intelligence officer. officer. Like they got they this got costume badge. from the Air Force, and then they say that she's in the army, and then they say that, and that it's got the Vietnam belts. It's supposed to be that he, they take him to a military yeah. base, mm-hmm. right? Worst uh, base ever. <laughs> worst base ever. Because out of nowhere comes Tony Jaw, and this is—I will say this is cool. Like Tony was the best part. But it started really poorly, right? So Tony runs up. There's like three U.S. soldiers, and they look legit American. They're like, what's going on? And he just runs up, and then they're like, oh, crap. And they, they start to fire at him. And and Tony like takes Fast forever. Like, he like takes forever to like kick, beat him up. And then one guy is trying to pull his gun. And he Tony's like. Himself. like <laughs> It's like, if you can clearly tell, it's like they, I don't know if they meant to speed it up, and and it, they, but they didn't, oh, and man. they didn't want to do Nobody a retake knows. of it, and like they can't afford a retake. Exactly. Tony Jaw's expensive again. Budget. So I was like, oh crap, are they gonna dis? Are they going to disrespect Tony Jaw and show like you know behind the scenes movie magic dissipates where Tony doesn't know what he's doing or Tony's like phoning it in, but thank God no. Because he then, beats up uh, after 45 that, dudes. After that scene, he goes and he beats up 45 dudes. He just runs dudes. through this base, and he's got no – He's got his weapons are his elbows <laughs> and his knees. And we love Tony Jaw because he's yes. kicked a man off an elephant, off a tree. Yes. And, like, it's amazing. And he just runs through this base and just knees everybody and elbows <laughs> everybody. And they all have guns, but none of them use them. And so he just keeps, like, kneeing everybody in this base. And it's a really, <laughs> really long segment. It's like 10 minutes of him <laughs> kneeing people. Long. And they like, knee so many guns. Guys, you start to run out of U.S. soldiers, and it looks like we're in Afghanistan or something because guys come up with, like, the craziest masks. Yeah. And they got to reuse clothes. the same people. Yeah, there's <laughs> only three extras. He has to kill the same extras. As soon as somebody gets times. knocked out of the scene, they're rushed off and then put on a different outfit, and they go over there. But, God darn it, these, these stuntmen were putting in work. Yeah, they, were, they died a lot. They I hope they got doing, paid by they, the death. They were doing the ragdoll cartwheels. <laughs> they were doing this and that. And that is why I was starting to have a little bit. What of about the fake I, blood effects? What did what'd you think oh of those? Oh god, <laughs> I didn't so like bad. the fake blood effects. This was so cheesy. But That's the other thing that kind of a, a bad like I didn't like was the camera tricks they they were using. Oh right, the shaky cam following Tony Jaw around. Yeah. I, like, well, I didn't like it, and it, it was very tight still. shots. It was too yeah. tight. And but then did you not? Im- the, they didn't cut away though, Joe. Is it's that not. It looked like long, to continuous takes. It was, but it was like too much of the right. shaky cam. I don't like the shaky cam. I've never been a big fan. Then all of a sudden it cuts to the shaky cam to Hardcore Henry. Oh, yes. Hardcore person. Henry. We do first person jujitsu. <laughs> yes. I, look, we were, we well, can't. Hey, we whenever couldn't. you say jujitsu. There is no, there is no, there is no jujitsu, jiu-jitsu in this movie. There's, no there's sword fighting. There's guns, grenades. There's like, I guess, karate. Joe, you wa- some sort you of made fu. me watch a movie called jujitsu. <laughs> With no jujitsu. With no jujitsu. <laughs> hey, man, I got bamboozled too. <laughs> Okay, but I, this was so ridiculous that yes. I had to record it on my phone because it. So, like, watch this. So, basically, you go into first person jujitsu, except 
It's except like at some point the, the camera cameraman. guy, the yes. cameraman falls down, so we fall out of first person while we see our main character get beat up, and then the main character falls back and falls on top of the cameraman, which knocks the cameraman off the goddamn one take. Of the thing. So you almost broke the camera. <laughs> 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 and then dirt everywhere. <laughs> and then and then somehow their bodies merge back into and yeah, then yeah, now we're back, we're back in the first person when he puts his arms out and so now we're the muscly man with the muscles and we're we're punching people and kicking. And now you so know why first, we watch these. This movies. is still the first twenty minutes of the movie, by the way. Twenty minutes. The movie hasn't even started yet. <laughs> It was first person jujitsu, and the cameraman falls down. Yeah. Except for a moment where the cameraman falls down. Yeah, he falls down on the hay bale. Yeah, one take. Everything is and one take. And then it was third person jujitsu back into first person jujitsu <laughs> after the cameraman cleans off the camera. That was worth the price of admission alone. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's continue. <laughs> okay, somebody else go. Okay, so that movie hasn't even started yet because he, Jake doesn't know who he is yet. As he runs away a little bit, he falls down a hole, and he meets Nicolas Cage, who says, I am you, and then they have this weird duel, and they fight for a really long time. Like, we get a really long sequence of someone pretending to be Nicolas Cage fighting this other muscle dude, and it's hilarious. Oh, yeah, the stunt doubles, man. Oh, yeah, there's really so many bad. shots that are, like, really far, because they do all these shots oh. really tight, and then they do, when anytime Nicolas Cage is fighting, there's a dude... A county away, just like going, like, all right, yeah, I, I can pretty much like, make out that it's not. You have to wear yeah. loose clothes. Make sure it's not in a ridiculous alone. wig. Leave him alone, because he does do a few, a few maneuvers. All right, you leave yeah. Nick alone, because he's the, uh, he's the only one that made this movie. So we would not have watched <laughs> it without Nick. Yeah, Nicholas exactly. Cage. That's he shows up. He makes paper hats. Show. It makes paper hats, and it does spend a lot of time on those paper hats. And as they're fighting, he's like telling them about his paper hat collection and showing him his paper hats. That was so random. It doesn't make any sense. It no, doesn't. and and I, you're, you're, the movie is trying to keep you off <coughs> Kelter. It's trying to oh, say, "Oh, did a great job." Like, I am you. You are me. I, and it's like, wait, is are it, we traveling through time, or is this edited poorly? Are we yeah. doing future? Is is this Nicholas Cage, Jake's character from the future? All right, Jake already immediately has more character. But no, that's that's, that's not, not what, what happens. happens. That's not what happens. It's just <laughs> it's written poorly where the scenes don't make sense if you tell them in order. Yeah. They were uh, amazing, though. I swear uh, to God. A anyways. Um, well, he's the exposition hobo, right? So Nicholas yes, Cage turns out to be him. the exposition hobo. And he's like. He's crazy. And he's just like, look, I'm nuts. But there's a spaceman who comes by every six years. <laughs> and then Mortal Kombat happens. If you don't you, fight him. Nine people win. have to fight him in a row. <laughs> and if you don't. And then he comes back. Then all back, four billion people on the planet. He will fight them. And he will kill them. <laughs> all of them. Every single one of them. Also, <laughs> It's going to take him a long time to get here. <laughs> so you can still live your life for yeah. a little while. <laughs> I still got 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> he's still oh, working Lord. his way through through India. And, and, and you know, yeah, he's going to be there for a while. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And exactly. then he gets on a plane and he goes to the next one. All right. Anyways, guys. Um, so, anyway, the military who captures uh, Jake like 15 times. They capture um, him again. They again. capture him again. And, and, and they encounter the, the, the predator in the trees. And and so then you have the shooting scene where the the fast and furious badass guy tricks the alien to come towards him, and he picks up a light machine gun and literally l like blows away the alien. This actually looks cool. And when finally, when the alien is revealed, it's just one alien. I thought it was an alien invasion. No, it's just one guy. No, it's one guy. Yeah, yeah, you, have right. what, you have to beat him with jujitsu. That's what you have to beat him in jujitsu. Exactly. I'm just saying. I thought maybe there Again. would be a threat of an invasion if you lost. No, no, it's one guy. <laughs> So, anyways, <laughs> and he and, gave you jujitsu, and he has got stealth. He turns off his stealth, and and I was like, "All right, the suit looks cool." I thought I thought it was gonna. It look was pretty cool. But I was, like the suit. It, I, I, I like Guyver. I like practical effects. His uh -huh. suit was practical, mixed with a little bit of CGI for his uh, face. I didn't like this. The face. The face. He didn't like the face. It's like, like a, a stupid. Face. Uh, he, looked, he looked like Vigo from uh, <laughs> from Ghostbusters too. No, I it's, like he was Tao. Like he was fish. He was a fish person. Tao from Warhammer 40k. That's what he was. Anyways, comes in <laughs> and he gets his ass shot up and yeah. just falls down. He's dead. 
And I'm like, okay, so there, this is an invasion. There are the multiple of them. Sims. No, he heals with the worst CGI <laughs> effects. They just do the warping. Uh, the the I don't know what is happening. That looked good. No, it didn't, <laughs> Joe. I could look take it for someone who's watched a lot of B movies. Right, <laughs> These so are that, not that B. Was... You, what you watch are not B movies. Those are they're C not. A, they're not enough letters on the alphabet to get to how low your movies are. All right. Ouch. Yeah, this is like top quality <laughs> stuff from Joe. Dude, this anyway, is like the best movie uh, you've watched. This is a t- the tip of the iceberg and again guys. uses one of his cheap uh, cheap moves to burn this guy's face off no yeah. burn, his, burn chest his chest off and then and then we just move to the next scene <laughs> and it's literally come anytime they're like okay we don't know what to do they cut to the comic book panels yeah and it goes into the next scene next scene and then we meet a no we meet eight people we so there's a piece <laughs> supposed to fight nine people in a row yes and you have one to fight of them, them is missing you have to fight nine of them well, and then it. We meet a bunch of the other ones, and none of them are saying anything, so you know exactly what order they're you know gonna, die gonna die in. Because like that guy doesn't say anything. That guy dies, dies first, and dies. then it's like, oh, that guy said though he only had one line. Then he dies next. They stupidly split up, which makes no sense. And you're gonna fight, and he's gonna use all to these weapons to cover more ground, Joe. I don't understand these honorable <laughs> challenges, but then later on you it's have a sneak attack. not a sneak attacks, and two people are ganging up on the alien. But then later on in the film, you there's no ganging up on the alien because I don't know. Because because they do this stupid little, you know, uh, you know, they, nod I, heads. That's with each what other. I don't get. Sometimes they bow. Sometimes they're just like, oh, surprise, yeah, motherfucker! It's, it's, <laughs> it's a surprise. I'm kill you. It's a, it's a sword fighting movie. They call jujitsu for some reason. And this girl yeah. has a crossbow in her forearm that she launches. And there are flares sometimes, and there are bombs other times, and no one has any idea why. This this movie is ridiculous. But you can't use guns because they're getting mad. It is. But he gets mad. It is very but ridiculous. It is kind of fun. It is. It is fun. Yeah, there are times where I'm like, I can't believe you let me, you made me watch this. It, it was just one <laughs> kung fu fight scene to the next kung fu fight scene. Yes, and I appreciated that's, that part. That's part. It's great. Yeah. No, exactly. But it's there like were what a Alex few was saying. Parts. Exactly what Alex was saying. It's like oh, I like this, but as soon as they start talking, I'm done. <laughs> yeah. Anytime anyone in this movie is talking, the it's intelligence bad. Intelligence officer chick. Who Wait, disappears? To her? We don't know. Oh, she they forgot to put her in the film like at the end. She, they like, just needed her for one day. She got kicked like hard and then she fell down. And, then, <laughs> and that's it. And she that's went it. Well, Tony Jaw also like gets defeated and you're like, is he dead? And it was like, he can't be dead. Like there's no way that Tony Jaw will let himself get murdered so, in yeah, this kind so, of movie. So, so the bunch of people die and it goes down to Tony. It goes down to our main uh, Jake. vanilla bread. Jake. Milk Jake. toast. Yeah, Jake milk, milk toast. toast. Nicholas Cage and, uh, at the end. The, the girlfriend. Oh, my God. This love subplot was so crappy. It was so bad. It the was first, bad. She's but like, it was Jake. <laughs> oh, and then she like hugs him. He's like, oh, who, who are you? I'm amnesia. I don't know who you are. Uh, and, but there's I need no to try chemistry. That. <laughs> no chemistry whatsoever oh, good, between yeah, these two. Course. And <clears throat> as an audience, we're supposed to fawn over her and, and things that she's like, Super beautiful, and then this relationship is so loving, and and because it, it's it's supposed to be like that, and they have several moments, and it never works. No, it just it doesn't, doesn't work. It doesn't. And so, of course, they save her for last, and then the th- and then of course, um, Nicholas Cage, right? Yeah, have you, so, you got to have your climax. And then there's and a, we jungle, had our a, a jungle <laughs> night night fight, and I was like, oh, Tony's fighting, and I'm like, Tony's gonna die. Because he's by himself. But then all of a sudden, you know, our our uh, Jake shows up and, and does fighting with Tony. So you're breaking the rules or whatever. I don't know. And then later on, and then that fight ends where Tony gets knocked out. And then uh, the, the Jake runs off and the alien's really mad at Jake. How dare you run away? me or something. And so then the alien does super speed on Jake. How Jake is not, does Jake faster than super speed? Because he literally manages to, to run so fast that it's a different. Here's another thing. When you're watching my type of movies, throw logic out. I know. Okay? I, so I logic can't. <laughs> my, my brain and wants to work, cuts. Joe. It just cuts in the next fight scene where <laughs> the alien is searching for them. And they have their clothes look so ridiculous, and it's because they they hide themselves from the alien. If you put anything over your head, anything at all, if you put a bandana on your head, the alien cannot see you. He has predator vision, <laughs> but banda- bandanas. If you have, if you own a hoodie, oh, then you're, you're right. safe forever. You know, he said he fights six <laughs> so billion he's people. To, he's supposed to fight four billion people, and, and he's put a hoodie on. He's just like, oh, everyone's God, gone. God what do I do? What do I do? Anyways, uh, so they put great. two hoodies on. 
And then he's like, oh, I can't see them. But then he's like, I'm going to attack that area anyway. He flies up in the air. He comes, brings, comes his sword down. And then, boom, the store gets stopped. You're, what? Oh, Our hero. Our hero, Nicholas Cage. Willie. <laughs> what? That's his name. His Willie. Name is Willie. And they have a 10-minute long, actually, it's an actual, actual fight scene. Good sword fight yes. scene. Nicholas Cage versus the alien sword Sometimes fighting for at least 10 stuff. minutes. And it's so... <laughs> So ridiculous. That, that earned a point uh, alone. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I was very happy with that scene. Uh, and I thought maybe he'd have a glorious death where he'd be like, run or something or, or go. Well, he already ran but, in the but first But I guess place. he does kind of have that, but he never says anything. And I just hate it. And then, like, the alien defeats him but then gives him a sword because, again, the alien's honorable only when he <laughs> wants to be. And then so he takes his sword and he plays with his food some more and kills Nicolas Cage, breaks his back with his knee. I would break you it's, with my knee. It's not over yet. And then <laughs> turns him around so that he can see you know, so the people who are wearing the hoodies, which could have been gone by now. But yeah, he, he has no idea that they're there. He has no idea that they're it. there. But he does. And he slits uh, Nicholas Cage's throat in front of them. And we're I was like, all right, I'm done with this film. And then, Paralyze you. And then, and then kill you. <laughs> the, movie's not, the movie just goes to the comic book thing. And then they go to a monastery. And then he's like, and then the he, they fall into the monastery. <laughs> oh yeah. By by the way, he was your father, and everyone's oh, yeah. like, "What? Oh, How right, does this right, have right. anything to do with anything?" He yeah. said, "I am you. Yeah. You and me. They do me. one. They do one flashback where he's you know with the worst Nicholas yeah. Cage stand in. <sighs> worst ever. stand in. I was like, ever. "Oh man, they're gonna do like some CGI uh, young Nicholas Cage again. Stuff. Budget, <laughs> <I know. laughs> budget. Remember worst this. Bud <clears throat> the budget went into the alien suit." Nicholas Cage, Tony Jaw, and that's it. And the Frank guy who was in the Marvel <laughs> Universe. Yeah, whatever. I don't yeah. know. That guy so that guy was supposed to be the American badass and like the leader of the group. The, these these shadow uh, assassin monks who know about jujitsu and taught the world. Are we just not gonna talk about the fact that aliens <laughs> taught us jujitsu? But they taught us wrong. They taught us, wrong. they taught us wrong because none of it was jujitsu. Strikes. Yeah, the that strikes and swords and guns. <laughs> and it's just like none of this is jujitsu. <laughs> The alien. He's alien. We purposely taught him wrong. <laughs> we thought it was funny. <laughs> oh my god! Anyway, so then, oh uh, so so you have these monks who are led by Americans or or led by one person from each mm -hmm. country because they have kind of like a superstar <laughs> of C list superstars or something, and <clears throat> they all get killed. And uh, you're thinking oh, the American wait, 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 is going to be up, awesome, though. but during this whole collection of these nine people. I'm just going to say, one of these guys just looked like Chris Farley. Yeah, one of them <laughs> did not fit in. There. I was like, wait a minute. Like, everyone's all buff. It was somebody and then this guy look like just looks like he's from the mafia. Or yeah, it's just like, uh. <laughs> it's like, this, That's this, somebody's uh, uncle that what, looks tough. How did you get in the film? He's like, I want to be in the movie. His weapon is a machete with a tennis ball painted <laughs> black at the end of it. Like, seriously, it is a ball that is duct taped to a machete. He's like, this is my like, weapon. Did you see the I, military sergeant at the beginning of the movie? Looks like somebody, somebody's dad. Yeah, someone's dad's like, you want <laughs> yes. me to do what? Oh. Oh, the sergeant guys, listen <laughs> Anyways, to me. <laughs> so the American badass, you know, uh, oh, Mr. Marvel, Skull and Bones, mm. gets killed like a bee. He's literally wiped out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All like of the picked. deaths in this movie are hilarious because <laughs> they, it's practically <laughs> it's one step short of I'm dying. <laughs> 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 so much uh, uh, fun. Oh I, I am smiling right now. because My score is going up for this it's movie. It may be this, but <laughs> I think my too. score is going up for this okay, movie. Okay, so, so we have to talk about the final climax. So then they go to back to the temple. <laughs> yes. And, and restore they, honor. They bring back the, uh, the Burmese uh, fisherman who has saved them. For no reason. For no reason, really. Just some more uh, uh, fun comedic relief. Because there was... Some comedic relief. The what's the guy? The guy name? from the My guy Name from Is Earl. Earl. Yeah, my name. My name my is name. Earl. He has yeah, the, so. one of the best lines. Like he sees Fr uh, Frank. Wait, no, Jake. Jake. He sees. Jake. I know. I keep forgetting. He sees Jake talking to his girlfriend. Oh, you hurt. And he walks in. It's like, oh, she's hurt. Oh, she's hurt. Well, my team's dead. <laughs> yeah, everyone I know is dead. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Are, he said, what do no, you want to do? The line like, is, my people are dead. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like. My people uh, are dead. So that's, uh, that's something Joe would say. <laughs> I've heard. Oh, yeah. Well, my, my people, people are dead. dead. So. <laughs> 
right. So he brings them. I don't know why. And, and they're why. just talking. They're doing a little bit of exposition, and they're like, oh, you know, he was your father, and uh, they saved you, and uh, Nicholas Cage saved you, and, and now it's up to you to stop him, and uh, I'm hurt. And then all of a sudden, poof, the door gets broken down, and here comes the, the, here comes the alien. Here comes the alien. It's time for jujitsu. It's time for jujitsu. But then, jiu-jitsu. but then, no, first the old grandma whips out a shotgun out of nowhere, and she, like, blows the alien away. The, the grandma actually probably gets the best hit. She's the most efficient the most fighter. most efficient yeah, fighter is. against the alien. She, she, she doesn't get hit at all, and she just, like, Opens up a cavity in his chest. Yeah, and and he, he dies, or he's powers down, which allows them which to escape. Which they should have probably beat him up right there. Yeah. Well, yeah, but okay. well, they had already told you him. You said no you logic. You have a little okay, bit of time. Okay. <laughs> you do you remember? Yes, six seconds. You have a little That's bit of time. That's exactly what I was thinking. Oh, he, he shuts down and he runs away. <laughs> Even though not five minutes later, the guy shuts down and again, and then in his head, you have a limited amount of time, so he forgot. It's location, location, location. Well, they did this thing where it's clearly a hard cut, and it was a completely different day of filming where they're like, okay, now we're doing the big fight scene. Yes. Because it's just him and the alien, and they go at it. (laughs) Tell tell us about Oh. Yeah. One of y'all tell us. So they start fighting, and then all of a sudden, they, they fight for a long time, and Jake is getting beat up. And he, he's it's not even close. Right. And there are actually several stunts in here. It's like, man, that looks like it hurt a lot. Oh, like, yeah. Some of the stunts in here are so, actually really so good. I think that's why we have this main character who cannot act. He cannot do a motion. <laughs> he, nobody but he really knows jujitsu, and that's why everybody is screaming his name, Jake, because even them on set forget his name, so they they have to like constantly <laughs> remind the other crew members, oh, Jake, Jake. That is Jake. What are you doing? Oh, Jake, how are you doing? <laughs> Jake, take this. Anyway, so the alien has. But the one job that he has is he's actually pretty he gets good beat up a at lot. throwing his body around because it looks like he gets messed up. Yeah. Like at one point, he's, slam, he's like upside down, slamming into his chair with doing the splits in the air with his arms like this. And we're like, <laughs> how? Do you, how? Think the stunt, do you think the stunt people was like, okay, this will be safe. Don't worry about it. Ready? Go. <laughs> and they do it. And he's like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> what the you guys didn't tell me yeah. that I would be doing two somersaults in the air <laughs> yeah. with a triple and then axle. Slamming into a wall for no reason. Slamming into yeah. the oh. Now, obviously, oh. all that stuff is breakaway, but it's it, still it was still impressive. It's still impressive. It's That is why he's the main character, because in the final scene, this guy will throw himself around all over the place. He's willing to do whatever it takes. So, Grax, I think his name, the alien's name is Grax. What? Grax? I thought it was like Brack. I don't know. Sure, whatever. <laughs> no, that was the first guy that got killed that was not worthy enough to fight the main guy. Okay. Yeah. The alien <laughs> has beat up Jake and grabs yes. Jake oh, by the... Oh, I'm sorry, because we're forgetting. Uh, Jake is a coward. So Brax oh, yeah, tries yeah. to fight, and then the alien's like, you, I want to fight you first. And then and then Jake runs away. Yes. And that that's the whole storyline, is that Jake now has the confidence... Yes, to go back and to, do his thing. ...fight, because his father died. <laughs> but we don't. So the the alien has beaten up Jake and has ha, has him by the throat. And I imagine there's supposed to be a cutaway scene or something that builds up his motivation. Yeah. It was supposed to be a scene with Nicholas Cage. There's supposed to be something there. But Nick because, was like, hey, you, "What's that? Uh, you forgot? No, I'm not coming back. No, I'm not coming back." <laughs> and so it's a it's a nonstop scene of Jake getting like held and he's about to get murdered. And all of a sudden, for no reason at all, he becomes good at fighting yes. for no reason. Because normally there's a montage, there's a flashback. No, his eyes open real. Wide. Why and he just Alex. goes. That's what I was thinking. Like I think that cutaway with the the terrible stand in was supposed was to go supposed in the to be, later was, scene. Was supposed to go in like that scene. <laughs> oh, he's my dad. Oh, okay. Now I know okay. how to fight. I was like, wait, no, you added that in the wrong pocket. Just, yeah. just put it out. Yeah. And so they beat him up. They open up his chest somehow using something. How does no, he... she she his girlfriend shows up for one fight. Yeah, one... yeah. He she starts slashing her, her him, her and then crossbow. she uses the crossbow that to put hits the thing in the slash, it and it opens it up, and then and then good old comic relief shows up with a grenade, Jake, Jake! and throws the grenade. And then he puts a grenade, and then they stuffs put grenade his. in his chest. But what movie just recently did that? Didn't we just um, have a movie where the bad did where uh, the the you, you shove a grenade inside the the bad guy, and they're like, oh no, and then they blow up because that's no. exactly what happened. It did. Um, yeah, I, I know exactly what you're talking about, but it's I can't it's think of the fine. movie. It but doesn't matter. it's happened. And then the movie ends. 
So then he kicks him really hard. He kicked, <sighs> he kicks him super hard, so hard that they had to film it on a different sound stage well, and it was on a green screen where he kicks like him. This. And then the <laughs> portal opens up for some reason, which doesn't make sense to me because he's this supposed to This is what doesn't behind. make sense. This is the problem. That, yes. This is what the movie doesn't But don't you understand that if you don't fight no. him and everybody doesn't fight him, then he gets mad and okay, he beats I'll up I'll try to explain it. I'll try to explain that one. Oh. Okay, so it opens up because the comet was actually over the temple. So... If the job was done, he could go. If the job wasn't done, oh, he'll let then it he'll close. He'll stay behind. He'll gotcha. stay behind. Oh. There you go. I'm going to try to explain that The comet that was flying over the temple for four days. Well, it was like completely over. Anyways, no, shut up. kicks him through. The grenade <laughs> explodes. We get another bad special effect. And, Amazing. And then, of course, why do all these movies feel the need to run from the explosion? <laughs> they they have to just make an explosion. So then a grenade explodes. Terrible, And it turns though. into C4 <laughs> package times 15. And then he's running and he leaps. And he, the fire licks his boots. And then he slowly gets out of the way and he goes, <sighs> <sighs> And then they're saying, sure you don't want to be in a B movie I for six years. <laughs> Me? Yeah, I can act ju- just as well as Jake did. Probably. Yes, I'll be in a B movie. Until next time. No, and then and then the, the comic relief is like, all right, hey, let's drink. No, you don't want to drink. Nobody wants to drink. Oh, hey, well, I'll see you in six years when he looks at the portal. That, I'm not joking. That's what he says. I'll see you in six years. I'm like, what? Get no, ready we for won. Jiu-Jitsu too. No, we killed that him. That was only one. one. It was only one. But there's what do you mean? There's How more. do you know there's more than one? That we won. We won in combat. That's it. <laughs> every six years. So you're telling me that every six years these monks have been kicking this alien's ass? Yes. Every six years? Yes. Yes. So what? Then what was the point? No, you can die. You can lose to him as long as you die honorably. Yeah. And then he leaves. And then he leaves. So but he kills he all nine people again. and then he leaves. But then he leaves. So this time He's he killed all eight people. Uh, or he killed not seven. eight people. He killed seven. Six, because to- Tony Jaw lives. Six people. Se- six, seven, eight, yeah. nine. He killed six people, and then you killed him, and they're just gonna send another one in six years. So what's the point? There's no point at all. Saving there, the there world. There is no point. The There's point no was point. to take six dollars from us. That was <laughs> seven the point. Dollars. Seven dollars. Seven dollars. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, go rent it with your mates. See. Yes. Have everybody have, uh, yeah. have everybody chip in and watch it and come to these comment section and tell us what you thought it, of it. It was yeah, a good time. Yeah, so that time. was kind of a crazy summary of it. You have to make it. fun of it. Yes, that's what we're going to try to do. So I have no uh, idea we'll, how to rate these we'll, bad movies. Yeah, we're still working on this. This Joe, is all new to us. There was us. a beer system tell, that we tell, talked tell, about. No, no. Tell, let's, let's, do, uh, let's do for this one only. Let's do out of 10, but then an augmentation well, there's, yeah to there's that. an asterisk because this and is there's really an asterisk different. an augmentation to that is would you recommend this <laughs> bad movie so it's a bad movie it's like a bad movie beat down okay it's yeah one i'll of go my first friends, with this one uh, this matthew w- yeah this one was actually it started off pretty strong but then it started dying down for me uh, I've seen worse, obviously, that you know. <laughs> that yeah. doesn't mean it. Coming from him, that means nothing. Know, that statement is useless. It's not useless. <laughs> it to is Anyways. Yeah. I've seen worse. Ugh. Anyways. Yeah. Um, the main actor was very vanilla. I was waiting for... An Oscar performance from this, no, this gentleman? Not. I mean, well, I mean, what do you want, what do you want from these movies? He's clearly a stunt man. <laughs> yeah. That his abs were so ripped that like one of the casting directors is like... That guy, mm-hmm. but he's like, sir, he can't act. I, wow, we don't need abs. To act. That guy, <laughs> yeah. and they're like, do you just like him? That guy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, fine. Well, this movie actually, I thought was co- going to be completely different. It was called Jujitsu, and there was no jujitsu in exactly. it. Exactly. Oh. I thought it was going to be actually jujitsu going on invasion. with uh, the main star being Nicolas Cage, yeah. actually fighting aliens. Yeah. So you got tricked to seeing jujitsu, but then. It was actually oh he will see him a couple times. It main guy was pretty generic. Everything was pretty generic. Not a lot of memorable stuff in this, but uh, some of the fights were pretty good with uh, Tony Jaa. Yes, I did like that. Uh, overall, probably gonna give this a little bit above. After we were discussing it, discussing it a little bit more, six out of ten with with the asterisks of okay. this being one of my a bad movies. movie. A six of out of ten the- bad movie. Okay. Yes. Six okay. out of ten bad movie. Yeah. Okay. We're still wor- working on well, the rating system. It's a six out of ten BM. 
B- BM. <laughs> it's BM six out of ten. Go. Um, <laughs> this movie is like a three out of ten on the real movie okay, scale. Okay, yeah. I have no but idea how to rate this. I know. <laughs> it was fun. I, I enjoyed the well. At, now that it's over, I can say that I enjoyed it because there were some boring parts. But yeah, I, I enjoyed it as long as people weren't talking. Boys. This was this was a fun a fun movie to watch with your buddies, have <laughs> exactly. a beverage. It was a pretty decent time. I've actually OJ's made me watch much worse than this. He made me watch Slingshot Cops. <laughs> that <laughs> was what, foot. and the guy had a purple foot that just instantly killed people. If we're <laughs> this on is the, one of the greatest bad movies that Joe has made us watch. If if we're so if we this is on the bad found movie a scale, bit of a gem. this is like an eight out of ten on movie the movie OJ scale. movie scale. It is like so. It's a three on a normal movie yeah. scale, but it's like an eight. Yes. You should see this movie just yeah, based how we're based on the see? Netflix description for this movie. Nicolas Cage fights an alien invader Joe's every six years with jujitsu. It's, it's the dumbest thing, and you have to watch it. Yeah. And so, <laughs> if you have seven dollars and someone to Why split not? it with, seven bucks. Yes. Go watch this movie, guys. So I agree with that. Eight out of ten. Bm. It's an eight out of ten bad movie. It's a three. It's a two. It is a two Ooh. out of ten normal movie. The ah. dialogue is bad. Yes. The CGI is bad. The yes. sound effects are bad. Yes. The acting is bad. The main character <laughs> is bad. And the the costumes are bad. Everything is bad. I want you to it was, know this. It was very Joe. bad. It was very bad. Everything you are it's doing is bad. Everything you are doing the is bad. bad Joe. Movie time. Except for the kung fu, which was not jujitsu. It was not jujitsu, no. but it was something. And was I little, liked that they went all in with the jiu-jitsu. idea. It was one of those stupid films, you know. Joe, when I used to make films, and we were like, yeah. let's just make something. Yes. Let's have like this a superpower, and then we'll come in as a SWAT team and we'll shoot him. It'll be great. That is what this is, just for adults. You with know? Nicolas Cage. With Nicolas Cage. And, but Nicolas Cage could not <laughs> save the film. Okay? Even him and, and even him doing his wackiest, it, it, I, it could have been a little bit better. It's a 2 out of 10, but an 8 out of 10 on the bad <laughs> movie scale because I was expecting much, yes. much worse. It started very bad, but then the kung fu and the action saved it, and the Nicolas Cage saved it. And Tony Jaa. And Tony Jaa and saved Tony it. And Tony was like, I'm not dying in this movie. I refuse this to die in this I movie. Failed. I will not die in this movie. And at the end, movie. he's like, mm. <laughs> it's like he's not the star, but he didn't get to die. Good, good job. Uh, white vanilla bread. I don't know. You know, Jake, generic Jake. mayonnaise man. Gen- mayonnaise man, yeah. generic. <laughs> you know, guy, man, dude, stunt man. <laughs> and uh, you, oh my god. Anyways, this was a lot yeah. of fun though. This John. was yeah. This was a lot of fun with uh, these guys. Hopefully, we get to do this again. Let yeah. us know what uh, your not, thoughts not, are. We'll I give, a couple, give me a couple weeks. I want to thank LG we'll think about it. for making this possible, yes. guys. Seriously, click those links down below. Let them know that we told you about LG by clicking those links down below. We, uh, you know, all my TVs are LG, and honestly, this movie was better with it because I can <laughs> tell all of the ridiculous <laughs> special effects. That I could tell exactly oh. where they pulled that from on the internet and the sound <laughs> effects. Seriously, uh, this the projector in 4K, great, great guys. All right, so thank you to LG and mm-hmm. no thank you to other Joe, <laughs> but maybe yes. thank you. <laughs> Guys, let me know if you want to continue this. I would torture these guys again. Make them watch. How? Maybe from time to time. We yeah. don't know how it's going to work yet. Yeah. Still testing it out. We potentially do some of them live on, on Twitch watch parties if that <laughs> works. But see, the yes. problem is all of these kinds of films, they don't have that ability. So when they don't oh, no, have no, no, that no, no, ability, no. maybe we do one of these. You know. So anyways, <sighs> tell us what should we name the series and uh, yeah. click those links below. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe and uh, Joe, uh, t- you t- take us take us away with your sign off. My sign. I don't. I don't have a sign off yet. Uh, okay. I don't know. Uh, this is your fault. Just do another. One. Do something. Do something funny, Joe. <laughs> oh, uh, be no, funny right now. Be funny. Can't be funny. Anyways, like we said before, thank you for <laughs> watching and let us know what you guys think. And we're open to any ideas for the rating system as well. Yeah. Yes. Help us out. <laughs> out of beers, maybe. Uh, I think five beers, right? Five so beers. how many beer? How, how many, many beers, beers out of five do you need to enjoy this movie? But then that would mean that the five beer films are the worst. worst. Films yes, exactly. The one beer films. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. then technically it's kind of bad and good. Yes. Oh, I see what y'all. So are that's doing. the five beers. I, I don't system. know. I don't know. But that's just one <laughs> system. Or do we stick to the BM system? Do we stick with uh, bowel movement? Uh, how about 
three th- systems where it's like watch it, trash it, uh, d- uh, burn all, it. We're open burn to it, trash it, watch it. Let us know. Let us know in the comments. Bye, yeah. guys. Bye, guys.